Ladies and gentlemen, I just discovered this. Do you have a older computer Thunderbolt 1? This baby right here, I got Thunderbolt 1 USB 2.0. So that means if I have an external hard drive, I'm not getting the best speed that I would want. How do I increase that speed? Thunderbolt, right? Well, here's the deal. I just discovered this dongle. Check this thing out. It is a Thunderbolt to USB 3. Think of how dramatically that will increase your speed. When you're a video editor and you gotta edit video, you, your biggest problem is not having a fast enough hardware. I believe this is still like SATA whatever, I don't know if it was SATA 1 or what it was, but I don't know the PCIe, but how do I get that speed? This boy right here. My external hard disk, all right, I got that uh, plugged into the USB 2.0 port right here, this external three terabyte, look at this. Let's bring up black magic. This is what I was using, let's, let's target the drive. By the way, this black magic program is free on the app store. Let's go ahead here and select the external three terabyte hard drive. And then let's go ahead and see what we get for a speed. This is USB. 2.0 now, and I'm getting a right speed of just about breaking through to 30, and a read speed of almost hitting 40, we're at 38. And now, again, it's trying again, we just dropped 20. So I'm getting between 20 and 30 for right read speed. And actually, that is shit when it comes down to it. You. And I was actually sitting there editing video on this, like there's gotta be a better way. I was thinking All right, I could buy a Thunderbolt drive, but I already got this USB 3.0 drive just sitting there. And it's like, I have this, why not take advantage of the speed? If you got a Ferrari, why wouldn't you give her hell and give her gas all the way, right? So, let's stop this and I'll eject the drive. And we'll go on ahead and plug this bad boy in and see what we got. I'll unplug the USB from the 2.0 slot. And we're gonna plug it into the Thunderbolt here. I'm also using a, a Thunderbolt external display, obviously, for the drive and my other monitor. So we'll just plug this right into the Thunderbolt port. And we'll plug it right into the the USB 3 slot on the dongle. Hard drive is booting up. Let's take a look at the finder here. There it is, it just came up. Let's go ahead and target the drive now. Again. So the same drive, external 3 terabyte. Let's see what happens when we test her now. Look at that, right off the bat, I'm already up to 65. And reading at almost the same. So about 70, right? 72, we're writing. And read about the same. So right now, let's think about that. I went from 30 to 70. I more than doubled my speed that I already had. And, you know, when you're doing video editing, a lot of the time it's just waiting for your disc to spin up and get that information back and forth. But now with this, I just increased that a little bit. This is like basically firewire speed. So I'll tell you, break down and get the money for a Thunderbolt. But like I said, I'll probably be getting a new MacBook this year or something with a, it'll have the faster PCIe and then I'll have the, hopefully Thunderbolt 3 by then, but we'll see. But yeah, there's a pretty cool tip for you. Nice little performance boost. Just for shits and giggles, let's test the internal SSD and see what we get for speed. See, 170, sorry, that's SSD internal drive. Almost 200 read, 
160 right, a spinning drive internal two. Let's see what we get on that. Pretty much about the same as my external, a little bit faster. But think about it, I'm getting just about as fast speed that I have on my internal drive spinning as I'm getting on my external. Why is that important? Because I can have bigger drives, cycle them in and out. So it comes in two models, Thunderbolt with Gigabit Ethernet or Thunderbolt and eSATA. So for 80 bucks, I got a hell of a speed increase. Pretty cool. Uh, check it out and uh, get your performance up. And thank you for watching Dan and Mac. This is total bullshit. This is a huge story and it's like it's just getting kind of swept under the rug. The year 3000 AD on, apparently there's no life on the planet. Prime Minister <laughs> coming out, aliens are real. Yeah, they're real. But no big deal, but hey. So yeah, so he disappears at 29 and all of a sudden, boom, he shows up here. By the way, we've discovered a base on the back side of the moon. They found these? Like yeah. under the So it stopped at 1006 and it says Swiss was engraved on the back. There's actually, he has a guy, a witness that comes up that did alien recovery. When I got out in 1989, we had cataloged 57 different species. 57 different species. No, the other two reactors are still working. There's people going to work in Chernobyl. There's two more nuclear reactors still running there. Holy fuck, you just yeah. blew my mind. We do not expect harmful levels of radiation to reach the west coast. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh my god. And when you burn thorium in a molten salt reactor, you get 99.999% burn up. Holy fuck. Men in black cars and men in black, Matt Wilson. Official policy regarding UFOs is that they do not exist. Uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft.